Hey everyone, DM Elms here, and I've been asked by The Bleeding Critic to talk about my first horror movie experience. This was during the late 70s, I was about 7 or 8 years old, and I was staying over the summer at my grandma's house. And we had neighbors there. Uh, that was a family that, um, I'm not going to name their last name, they were pretty awesome people, but uh, if you were to describe them as the family from Wrong Turn who used more cars, you wouldn't be wrong. Uh, they were really nice though, and they were often uh, fans of going to the drive-in at night um, to see whatever the movie was playing, and I'm talking like at night every other night, like they would go to the same movies over and over again. And one night they were packing up their pickup truck, and it, at the time it was uh, one car was the price of the you know you fixed price for one car at the drive-in, so I would often uh, go with them, and this was one of those nights. And the movie we were going to see was Bambi, which had been re-released, and I was super excited because anytime there was a Disney movie at the drive-in, I would go with the family. And so I went with them and we all packed into the back of the pickup truck, me and about eight kids uh, from the family. And I would tag along. And so I did. We got to the drive-in and we started watching Bambi. And that was when some of the older boys who were in the back of the pickup truck uh, said uh, to me and my best friend, who was the one of the neighbor family, uh, a girl named Elizabeth, uh, she said, hey, Elizabeth, hey, um, look at this movie over here. And so we turned around and the movie that uh, in the far distance, you could see another screen because this was a drive in back then. They would show you know many movies on a, on a drive in. They were much bigger than the few holdouts that remain today that have like one screen showing something. Uh, there were like three or four and we looked over. And what I saw was a man who looked like some kind of a janitor or a caretaker or something. And he was grabbing a little red-headed kid. And uh, since I was a little red-headed kid, uh, I was, what is this? You know, I never, you never, I didn't really get to see many red-headed kids. Uh, so I was kind of intrigued just by that, like, wow, it's, you know, someone who looks kind of like me up there because I had that long 70s hair like the little redheaded kid did too. And then, coming down the hallway was a silver ball. Now, it's important to remember that we weren't actually watching the movie with the little radio that was hooked up to the uh, side of the car. That was playing the music from Bambi. The prince is alive! The prince has been born! Everybody was, all the animals were chirping and happy, and yet, over on the other screen, while I was listening to that audio from Bambi, I watched as the silver ball went flying into the head of the caretaker guy, and started drilling a hole in him, and blood coming out, and flying everywhere. Now, the older boys of the family were really happy about this. Me and Elizabeth were not. We were freaked out. We were giggling and hiding our faces. And the giggles weren't like happy giggles. They were con like fear giggles. We were completely overwhelmed and we'd never seen anything like it in our lives. And so, being horror struck, we turned around and tried to watch Bambi. But I kept looking back. I was curious. And as I looked back, I saw little hooded monsters. And I would turn away, shaking. And then I'd look back again, and I saw that mysterious old man walking through a mo what I later found out was a mausoleum. And I couldn't stop looking. Then, after we got home, and I was petrified beyond all reason. My parents didn't understand why I had been so traumatized and I didn't want to sleep alone and I was really upset, but of course, you know, I had to. I was too old to have that kind of, you know, thing going on. So I sat in my bed and thought about the scene in that I'd seen in the movie where the hero was lying in bed and all of a sudden the camera pulled back and 
zombie monsters came from under the bed on all sides and grabbed the hero and pulled him under. Before that day, I used to sleep on my back. After that day, I slept on my side, and I have slept on my side ever since. Make, because as a little kid, I had to be sure that if one of those spears came, I'd be ready for it.